Hello viewers, Solman here. We are playing another game today, and it will be in English. Let's go through that. So then, did you enjoy the hamster misadventures of Hamparo and his friends in Ham Ham's Unite and Ham Ham Heartbreak? Did you fall in love with the wonderful adventure elements of the game? Fun mini games, and its catchy ham chat system. Are you expecting the next game in the series to be even better than its predecessors? Then prepare to be disappointed on Let's Play Ham Tara Rainbow Rescue. So, yeah, as you can probably already tell, this is a game which I have my little grievances about. And that's because it's a pretty radical change from past games in the Ham Tara series. Like, where everything up to this point was uh, adventure based, this one is not quite the same. You'll, you'll see soon enough, viewers. For now, let me just say that this game did not actually come out in North America originally. Um, this was released in Japan, Europe, everywhere but North America. But it was cancelled before it could actually be produced in North America. So I've never actually played this game in the States, except on an emulator, so I'm not going to know it as well. Let's just see how far I can get. So, we actually get thrown pretty much right into the story. We don't even get to name the characters this time around, we just have to kind of just go with it, I guess, this time around. Alright. Oh, hey, look, it's a beautiful rainbow in the sky, alright. Yeah, rainbow. Oh, look, it's a... Is that a hamster? Nah, nah, that's probably a Rainbow Fairy. Hey, Mr. Rainbow Fairy, what are you doing up there? Oh, it's... Oh, yeah, it's Bijou. I forgot to say she was there. Uh, what are you looking at? Oh, it's a beautiful rainbow. All right. All right, so, let's go tell everyone about it. So, like before, you hold down the B button to run. You can press A to interact with stuff in your environment. Now, we can use this to uh, quickly interact with stuff like sunflower seeds and talk with hamsters. And note that we actually use small amounts of ham chat in this game, which leads me into my first grievance with this game. We don't actually have a ham chat system. Yes, we use a little ham chat here and there, but we don't actually have a ham chat dictionary. We don't have the whole adventure where we go around, hear people do all sorts of neat, interesting words and phrases and then use those elsewhere where you really may or may not think to use them in such interesting, creative ways. It, none of that exists in this game. It's kind of a letdown compared to the other games, if you ask me. It's really disappointing. I don't like it. Is this Elder Ham, or is it just an Elder Ham? No, it's it's an, an Elder Ham, not THE Elder Ham. Okay. Uh, it's a fisherman. Alright. Well, then let's just see what's over here. Uh, oh hey, it's Hamtaro and Oxnard. <laughs> I mean Oxnard. I swear, I am gonna nick he's gonna be Oxnard to me all year. What the fudge? Hamtaro talks? God. Yeah, this is another pretty radical change. Hamtaro actually gets a speaking part. Well, I suppose technically he does have all those ham chat words in the first two games, but. Technically, though, I really can't say he talked in those games. Yeah. Aw, oh, Biju and Hamtaro are nose-to-nose. -nose. How cute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's this beautiful rainbow over here. More beautiful than Biju. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, nah, I'm kinda kidding. But it's a nice rainbow. So here comes a bit of a new concept in the game, though. You get multiple party members. You have the main party member, and then you have those that kind of follow in your wake. There really isn't a way to switch party members freely. You, it'll, it'll come later. For now, though, you're stuck with whoever's in the lead and whoever follows behind you. I don't know. It's kind of neat, though, because you can actually have more hamsters in your party now. It's a neat new concept. I really kind of like how it came in. It's a beautiful rainbow. Let's just stand here for hours admiring it, writing poetry, writing television songs and video games based on rainbows. Come on, viewers, let's do it. 
Uh, what? Uh, Mr. Rainbow Fairy? What happened? Where's your rainbow? Uh, uh-oh. He's falling! He's falling! And, oh, well, who cares about him? The rainbow's gone. That's the bad part. Aw, how sad. We lost the pretty rainbow. Aw. I don't know, will we see another one soon? Uh, indeed, what should we do? Uh, what shadow? Huh, it was probably nothing important. Oh yeah, there's still Boss. I wonder what he's up to. Well, son of a gun, it's now time to see what Boss has to say. So yeah, we actually get a little cut over to Boss here and see what's going on. Um, they went off to see a rainbow. You're off on your own, old man. Uh, what? What noise? Uh, what the? What kind of noise was that? Oh! Ouch! Ah, ouch! That had to hurt. Time for another perspective change. Really, I would say, how would they know? Because it was kind of a dull sound, but when it comes when it comes down to it, I suppose they are hamsters. They do have a better sense of hearing, so. But yeah, Bijou gets left behind for now. We get to run around, be Hamtaro again. Now we are playing a Hamtaro game because we're actually playing the game as Hamtaro. And we run up to this uh edge here. Oh no, boss! And. Other guy is unconscious. Alright, we need to save them both. And there's a log. We need to use the log. Which introduces a new concept. Teamwork. Where having multiple hamsters allows you to almost get crushed by giant pieces of lumber. Nah, nah. Basically, this is how the game will now operate for about... Uh, I'd say 25% of the game will operate. Basically, you will need certain numbers of party members in your party in order to interact with environmental objects, such as that log. So we need Bijou for this part in order to help us. And the good news is, she joins us with no real problems at all. Come on, do the whisper thing like the other two games where you get a new party member. Da -da 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 well, I can't imitate the noise well, but yeah. So now we have three party members, we should be able to lift this log now, and uh... What is it, old timer? Uh, no, I know how to work it. Basically, he just tells you, if you have a certain number of party members in your party, you can actually interact with certain uh, environmental objects. This is a three ham uh, object right here. As long as you have at least three hamsters in your party, you can r walk around with this. In this particular case, this is an object we can actually carry. So let's go ahead and walk over here where we can actually place it. There'll be more environmental objects later on to cover, and nice little hamster dances, where we shake some booty. In any case, though, let's actually try to help a uh, boss and the mystery hamster, of course. Um, what indeed shall we do? Oh, hey, it's Cappy, by the way. Yay, he's back as well. I, I it's a pretty obvious all the hamsters are going to make a return in this game. Obviously. It wouldn't be a hamster... Uh, uh, it wouldn't be a Hamtaro game if we didn't have everyone along for the ride. And we get to do another teamwork. Are we going to lift them above our heads? Nah, we're just going to drag them along the ground and hurt them even more. Hope we don't run past any uh, rose bushes, by the way. Well, it seems uh, our mystery stranger's doing somewhat okay. I don't know where Boss is, but... Indeed, where did he come from? He just fell from the sky? <laughs> Er, well, I guess he did, didn't he? Um... Ham ha! <laughs> okay, I have to admit, that was funny. <laughs> um... We're... Friends? Uh... You're dead? We're at your funeral? Aw, oh, don't be scared. You're only dead. Nah, nah, we're just joshing around with you. Yeah, you're, you're not dead, you just fell from the sky, you got knocked out. Uh, yeah, time for a long story. Fast forward! 
Well, no fast forward needed. That's part of the game. Huzzah! They won't make us sit through the explanation. Uh, yeah, you fell on someone's head without realizing you did. Yeah, way to think about others. That statement that might actually be politically correct. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> Alright, well... What is your name, by the way, indeed? Uh, Rainbow Land. Where's that? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Bo! What kind of name is that? And, yeah, what is a Rainbow Land? Is it a, is it a kind of dessert? Oh, it's a paradise of colors and dreams! Like Dreamland? Sorry, buddy, Kirby ousted you several centuries ago. Or, well, several gaming generations ago, I guess, I don't know. Uh, Crash and Run, yeah, great terminology. I guess we better go after him. Well, let's go ahead and talk to some of the people on the way. Indeed, how will he make it back? Will he fly? Yeah, just, how do you just stop with the puns, please? Seriously, they weren't good in the last two games, just please stop now. Uh, huh, Stan's actually pessimistic in this game. Imagine that. Huh, you would think Maxwell would be the one who wouldn't believe in such a place he's never heard of before. Huh. Well, there's, a uh, Penelope. I don't know, I just like Penelope. She's a fun character. Well, oh, I kind of said that already, uh, Panda, you're a little late to the punchline. What about you, ham uh, ox nerd? Dirt! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a new nickname for him. They're gonna have to rename him in an entire series, Ox Nerd, just so I am politically correct. Because I dare not change at all. And, well, yeah, we've only known you for ten seconds, but we're gonna see you off. Oh, your umbrella is going to help you? What, is it like Percy the Umbrella in uh, Super Princess Peach? Can it turn into a submarine that can fly? Or you can make rainbows using your umbrella. That works too. Uh, oh, you can walk on too. Aren't you special? What, are you heavier than the raindrops that make up a rainbow? Alright. Well, see you later then. It looks like a flower more than a parasol. Maybe it's a flower parasol. Uh, whoa. Was that supposed to happen? Uh, I don't know if it was supposed to work or not. Hello? He's still alive. Yay, but he's scared again. You're still not dead, by the way. Uh, what? What colors? Oh, you mean on the parasol? Uh, yeah, how can we know you make rainbows? We haven't seen a demonstration yet. Well, yeah, uh, I guess what he's saying right now is the parasol would have seven colors of the rainbow on it. That's, uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Which means, in other words, the seven colors as opposed to the six colors of the rainbow. But yeah, um, for him to get home, he needs the seven colors to restore his parasol. And as always, Hamtaro becomes the savior, even though he really doesn't know what he's getting himself into. But, well, everyone's getting into it now, so... Well, only four of us really said we'd help, so... There you go. Alright, so, everyone's off to find... Uh... Yeah, where are we gonna find these, by the way? Oh, uh, boy. Well, it looks like we're gonna be going on an epic adventure for seven unique colors of the rainbow. Uh, yeah, thanks for being, uh, telling the viewers everything I just said, Maxwell. So, they need seven items using those seven colors. But where are we gonna find those seven colors? To restore the umbrella and get Bo home. Find out next time on Let's Play Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue. This is Solomon, signing off. Have a good day.